Hi everyone, I'm Lala. Welcome today. I am playing in some new makeup. Now some of these items are um, a little old, like they've been out for a while. And some of these items are new. Everything on this table is new to me. Um, and some things are, are things that I've, I've had and I haven't shared with y'all. Y'all know I've been hauling in secret. Again, I apologize. <laughs> I hope you watched the video all the way through. I do get a little personal. I would appreciate if y'all stay respectful. Um, watch it all the way through and give me some advice at the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get, get into it. it. I'm wearing my new hair. You see the little highlights? new earrings <laughs> let's start off with the primer now this product is not new i just bought it in the full size now if you saw my last get ready with me trying new makeup um i use a sample of this product i loved it so much i went to sephora and purchased the full size um this is i i don't know what how to pronounce that I'm going to say it's Sae. Sae. I don't know, but it, I need to Google translate this. Sae. Sae. I didn't get it in the color that the sample was. I got it like in a more bronze color because it is summertime. Um, this is in the color Sun Glow. This is what, this is what the bottle looked like. It's called the Glowy Super Gel. Dewy Illuminating Fluid is what the bottle looked like. I do want to mention it has a, ro I think it's rose oil. So it does smell like roses. If you get offended by that smell, like me, suck it up because it's worth it. But it goes away. So it doesn't, it doesn't linger. So here we go. And that's what she looked like. The bronze one looks like this. Look it. Do you see the difference? Sun glow, no sun glow. Have I sold you yet? Little concealer. Little lippy. I'm good to go. So yeah. Um, I love this stuff. It's so pretty. I'm definitely going to pick up the other one. Oh, I love this stuff. It might be my new favorite of... What month are we in? March? Yeah, my new fave. All right, um, foundation. The foundation I'm using, and it's new to me, is the For Forever um, Dior 24-Hour Wear High Perfection Skin Caring Foundation. And I got it in the color 4W um, Before 041. Here, let me just show you what that says. See? But, and um, now, I did purchase this when I picked up the Dior powder. And the foundation was too dark. I hope that this works because I went to Sephora. I went in the store. I rixed it all. <laughs> but this is what the bottle looks like. I hope this works. I hope it works. Let's go. I'm going to just do one side of my face. Oh, that looks promising. I'm going to do one side of my face. So you just see the difference. If it does anything. Let me take my earring off. Mm, so much better. Before it was like really orange. And then on top of this, mm, honey. Mm. I'm very happy at what I'm seeing in my mirror. Very happy. Moving on to concealers. Now, I do not remember when I bought this. I don't remember if I hauled it or if I ever used it on camera. But this is a Givenchy Tinte Couture Eyewear Concealer. 
And um, I was looking through my concealers, concealers to see if I had anything new or something I hadn't, haven't used. And this is the only thing that I don't think I've used on camera. It's in the color 22. Let's all says 22. Now I liked for my concealer to give me a little highlight. It's giving me very light coverage. I'm not mad at it. It looks very natural. Doesn't look cakey. Doesn't look it doesn't feel drying. So yeah. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at it. Alright, moving on to powder. And the powder that I have is this Gucci powder. This is the Gucci Beauty Powder in Matte Natural 05. Turn it around so you can see. And I believe it, yeah, it comes with a, a powder puff. I'm not going to use that. It has a mirror, but that's what she looks like. I'm going to set my whole face with it. Cause I don't have any other creams to put on. Oh, well, I do have a cream blush. That's a question I have. Do I put my cream brush blush on now or do I put it on towards the end? Now, this one. That I have. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get to it. I'm going to just do it after. But. That Gucci powder though. That Gucci powder though. Oh honey I stay Gucci. <gasps> Not really. I was looking at some Gucci flip flops. Or Gucci slides. And like a whole Gucci outfit. Gucci glass. Oh. I just could afford the powder. That's it. <laughs> The bronzer and the powder and the foundation. The If you add up the foundation, the primer, right, that's already a hundred and something, plus the powder, this powder, and the bronzer, you still, I still wouldn't be able to afford those slides. <laughs> so I'm going to just stick with the makeup. Sometimes I think it just really pays to um, invest in a high-priced item. Moving on. <laughs> okay, so um, Bobbi Brown. North, I got this from Nordstrom's Rack. This was on sale for oh, I don't know how much it was, to be honest with you. This is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder, and it's in the color Dark. And I really love Bobbi Brown highlighter. Matter of fact, I might be using that. We'll see what I'll use for a highlighter. But I love the highlighter. So this is what she looks like. It kind of looks like a, a blush a little bit. Let's see how it bronzes. So here we go. If I was to contour, I would use a more smaller brush because I would want it in specific areas. But this is a bronzer. Kind of looks like a blush color. I ain't mad at it. Mm -mm. Okay, so if I wasn't doing this video, I wouldn't add blush. I wouldn't because I feel like that right there is all I really need. But since I want to share with y'all a new product, I'm going to use a blush. So I'm going to be very light with this. Moving on to the blush. This blush, I have been wanting to share this with y'all. This has, this has been my favorite for, since, for the past two months since I purchased it. This is the NARS Air Matte Blush in the color Torch. That's what she looks like. Now, she's a cream. Yeah, she's a cream. But when you take her out... She kind of looks like a powder, but it's called the Air Matte. So I guess that's the reason. But I just want to show you. I'm going to put a dab there. Just so you can see. See how that looks like powder? And it feels like powder when I'm blending it. But it blends out like powder. It doesn't blend out like cream. It's very odd. The If you have it, 
comment below if you if, if you think that the feeling the the consistency how it blends out is very odd it's very different um a little innovative it lasts all day it's not like a cream where sometimes it just kind of fades away it lasts all day um but yeah Now you can get a brush at this point and you and just brush it out. Mm -hmm. I love this NARS and the color of torch. All right. Moving on to eyeshadow. Now I picked up this uh khaki haze Huda Beauty palette and when did I pick her up? I don't remember. It was a sale at Sephora. Maybe it was just, it, it was like a President's Day sale or something. So I picked it up and it's very, like the colors just look very basic. This is good for an everyday look. Um, I actually have an appointment. It's a, a sleep apnea. Um, so I did the test last night, which was hell because I know y'all think me and Rue are perfect, but we was arguing last night. And uh, matter of fact, he was in the living room sleeping in the I was sleeping in my bed. And my throat is kind of out of it because of, of me screaming. So I was doing the test last night. So I really couldn't sleep because I had this machine up my nose. I had a heart monitor on. And then I was, you know, in my thoughts about our argument and our fight. So last night was hell i did end up having a sleep apnea episode like where i woke up choking so that did happen but when i looked at the machine the wire wasn't in the machine so i don't even know if they're gonna have to make me redo it or what but he's coming here today to let me know he's gonna take the the machine and run it and see if i have sleep apnea which i know i do but um yeah it was just a real shitty it was a shitty shitty night last night i swear um, I'm using this color. Yeah, so anyway, that happened. I really hate fighting with my husband. Like, I don't like fighting. I love my husband, but man. You know, you together for, what, 20 years? And every day together, 20, 20 years, you're going to have arguments. But it's just, you know what it is. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's. He's not a cons considerate man. Like, he doesn't think about, I feel like he doesn't think about the little things. Yeah, it's great. Like, I love him for working every day and going to work and providing. He does those aspects of a husband. But there are other aspects that I want or, like, other things that he can do to show me love, you know, like... I don't know when you're at a when you're at a store and you pick you up a drink. I think it would be nice if you brought me a drink, or you know if you know I like M and M's, bring me a bag of M and M's. Be considerate. You know. I mean, how hard is that? And he's uh, he's just the type of guy. You know, my husband. He's a, let me tell you about my husband. All right, he's just the type of guy that you have to tell him. He's he doesn't play guessing games. He doesn't read minds. He's and you know and I and I guess I know that about him. But I mean, I don't want to be a wife that just constantly is down his throat. So I feel like if I'm like, Can, you know, give me this, give me that. I don't I don't want to be that. So I just don't say nothing. I just I don't know. Like when I go to a grocery store. And I know that he loves, you know, a certain brand of something. Or um, when I think of the menu for dinner, I think about him. I always keep him in mind. I always make things spicy because I would rather him eat a really great meal than me. Like, I can just eat a bowl of cereal or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just really, I'm very considerate of him. And he doesn't have to tell me. I just do it naturally. But for him, I have to put it down on text. Then I got to write it on a piece of paper. And then I got to tell him in his ear. And then while he's at some place, for instance, this was, let me just tell you what the fight was about, okay? I had made him 
uh, his favorite dinner, which is like Mexican. This is turned into a get ready with me. Oh my God. Um, I had made him a dinner, right? His favorite dinner, which I didn't mind. My plan was to eat a bowl of cereal or maybe just go get like a burger from Whataburger because it's like across the street. And um, I was kind of craving that anyway, right? So I let him eat, you know, and, you know, and he's, he, you know, he's done eating. And I'm like, babe, you know, um, I'm glad you like the meal, but um, can you go get me a burger? I've really been craving a Whataburger burger. He goes, sure. Probably going to think this is crazy. I like my hamburgers with just meat and mayonnaise, that's it. Sometimes I'll add lettuce, but I really just like to taste the meat and the bread. Because I just love a really plain burger. I haven't got cheese on my burger for the past like six months, maybe even a year. I just haven't been adding cheese to my burgers. He goes, what kind of burger do you want? I want to say, I want, I said, I just want meat and mayonnaise, mayo and meat. He heard cheese. He heard mayo and cheese. So every time he goes and gets something for me out, they always make my order wrong because he never checks it. That's another thing he doesn't do. He doesn't check the food. And I tell him, you got to check the food. He goes, but I don't work they should get it right they work there i'm like yeah but people make mistakes just when you're at the counter it's so simple open it up check it if if something's missing add it if it's not missing just bring it home it's fine anyways he comes in on he goes i go i hope it's not a cheeseburger because i had the yellow wrapper I open it it was a thick ass cheese and it was all stuck to the bread so when i peeled it off it took half of the bread so i couldn't just wipe it off you know what i'm saying and i was like I don't want cheese. And I thought he was going to say, oh, uh, they did it. I didn't check. No, he says, you said you wanted cheese. I said, no, I said I wanted meat and mayo. So that's what we're fighting about. He was like, no, I heard you say cheese. I said, no, I didn't. I said meat. So we're arguing. He's just convinced that I said cheese. I'm convinced I said meat. And it was a whole argument. We were screaming and yelling at each other. And it's just like something so stupid and little turns so big and we're still fighting. And you know what it is. Sometimes I won't put my balls down. Sometimes he won't put his balls. Like we want to just be like this. But I know what I said because I know what I like. I think it was a miscommunication. I also think that he keeps his headphones in his ears all day long. Full blast. He sleeps with them in his ears as well because he listens to like the ocean or whatever. And so he sleeps with earphones in his head. And he only has one good ear. So that one's already gone, obviously, because he heard meat. I mean, he heard cheese. He heard cheese when I said meat. And what pisses me off also is that he knows me. We've been together for so long. For the past year, I haven't ordered cheese on my burgers. You don't know me. Like, he's not considerate enough to learn about me. That's what pisses me off, too. Because, like... I take the time out to do for you these little special things like going to the grocery store when I'm in the store and knowing you know some, like something and just picking it up. And when you ask, when he asked me for a taco or if he asked me for something, I know how he likes it. He If I if he can say, babe, go get me a, a, some tacos. I know not to go to Taco Bell because he doesn't like Taco Bell. I know to go to the Garnita spot, and he likes cilantro and onions, and he likes both salsas. I know that. I know he loves both both salsas. If I told him go get me a taco, he wouldn't know where to go, and that's what pisses me off. I don't know. Sometimes you know, like he's perfect in every in every other way. He's perfect, but. Some, you know, some things he just is so clueless and at, you know, you forgive it. Like at the beginning, when y'all together, you kind of just forget it. You're like, just, it's like other things to fight about or let it go. Right. But when it's been 20 years and he's and and he tells me, tell me what's wrong. And I tell him what's wrong. You, he says he's sorry. Because I genuinely think he's sorry. But learn from it. And after 20 years, when I have to keep telling him to, that I just want mayo and meat. Or, you know, when you're at the store, pick me up something too. Why do I got to keep telling you the same thing over and over? After a while, I feel like I'm a, a teacher. 
after a while, I feel like I'm not a wife. I'm, I'm more of a scolding parent. And I just, I just can't. So, like, that's why my balls are staying up. Like, I don't want to end the fight and be like, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm not, that, I'm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, I don't think we're going to get a divorce. I don't think we're going to break up or separate for this. But I just need, I just want, I just wish he would just, I wish he would just, like, help me. Like, he knows what bo is bothering me and just, like, change. This is not a divorceable offense. You know, it's it's an argument. It's an art like it's worth an argument at least I feel like. But even then, like I still don't get anything that I want from an argument, you know? I just get, you know, we're sleeping, you know, in um we're sleeping apart from each other. That's not going to last cuz we both can't be without each other. So that's we'll probably get, you know, sleep together today, but We just both want to keep our balls is what it is. And one of us has to put our balls down. It's not going to be me. I'm being stubborn today because it might be me. But I don't think it's going to be me. That's not good in a marriage. You can't have pride in a marriage. Like He's very generous and he's very supportive. And I feel like that outweighs it. But still, it's so annoying. All right, I'm using this Sonia Kashuk eyeliner. I don't think I've used it in a video, so that's why I'm using it. Don't get me wrong, I love my husband. But that has nothing to do with it. It's just, I guess, respect. I feel like being considerate is kind of being respectful. <gasps> Ooh. I hope you enjoyed this it turned into a get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed the playing in the new makeup. Let me know if you're going to be picking up anything new from, from what I showed you. I hope that this video was helpful. Help me by commenting below um, anything your heart desires. If you have any advice for marriage or even makeup, let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.